Okay, folks, this is the proper way to leak test for leaks in a boat. As you can see, I filled the boat up with water. And uh, you just go along anywhere you suspect. Looks like a bad spot. Look at there. Leaking like a sieve. So, we want to indicate where our leaks are. So that after the water drains out, we're not on a turd hunt looking for them. Just like that. That spot there cannot be welded because there's plywood behind it. So we'll just have to gouge and 5200 that one. Same thing over here. This is what happens when you don't clean your boat off when you take it out of salt water. This is what you end up with. And it is a pain in the ass to fix it sometimes. Excess paint. Boy, that one's gonna be fun. problem we run into a lot with this kind of thing is you can see in here there's flotation foam on the back side of that so when you start welding that wants to catch on fire and then all the fumes and everything from it interferes with your shielding gas makes it that much harder to weld the aluminum because you're already trying to stick molten metal to bird shit basically your aluminum like this and aluminum is not like steel it is a very peculiar metal to try to weld it does not like to weld if it's dirty so, I have to also make sure that I've got the foam away from the inside in here by reaching in there and gouging away with my burr bit. And also making sure that I've pretty much got raw metal here that any uh, corrosion has been eaten away. Now with a hole this size, I'm gonna have to put a back plate on there but you see, I've already got this one here, and I've already got this one here. Don't expect any miracles with this kind of stuff. Don't expect the welds to be pretty. Damn sure don't expect it to be pretty on the first uh, pass. It's probably going to be naughty. A bunch of uh, porosity. Orville Redenbacher popcorn. You'll probably have to grind it back out. That's your burn pass that burns out the impurities. Um, then you have to go back in with a second pass to try to lay it out flat. Well, I bet you're wondering, 
Now, how am I going to get a patch plate behind there in a blind hole that I can't hold it from the other side? <laughs> I'm glad you asked me that question. A little scrap piece of aluminum plate. This is a piece of aluminum TIG wire that I've bent around it, and we're just going to fish it in there like this. And hopefully, just like that, and hold it from this side just like this while I weld it, get it tacked in place. That way I don't have to fill such a gigantic hole. And so that's that little trick for you. And here we go. That's the spot where I did the patch. So you can see, this is sealed up pretty good. Still remains to be seen on a leak test, but even if the leaks are minute, he's gonna get the bottom of this thing line -axed anyway. The main thing is that we're just wanting to to uh, get rid of the rot and you know get some material in there so that the line X will have something to cling on to basically the same thing that I had to do with my jet boat several years ago and uh, you know I've traveled a thousand miles on the rivers and got 500 hours on that engine and several hundred hours on other engines I've had in it so it's still holding together so I know this will too now occasionally you might have to think outside of the box now what these are, are these are punch outs from my uh, Piranha Iron Worker where I've punched out holes in aluminum plate. And <laughs> if you can guess what I'm gonna use these for, I'm gonna put them in these holes and tap them in there as plugs. Because uh, if you just weld over it, then it's only as strong as that little layer on top. But if you put a plug behind it, it's a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. Anyhow, sports fans, there you go. All the holes are welded up back there. As I said, couldn't really do anything with this except just put some 5200 sealant in there because uh, you can't weld that. There's plywood back there. It's some of the worst corrosion I've ever seen on a transom. But he's going to have it line x up to the water line, so that'll be okay. Got that one up underneath there. Got these on the side. As I said, when you're dealing with corroded material like this, don't expect any uh, any really pretty welds. Just be glad if you can get it plugged up. So that's a day in my life. And yes, I do work on weekends. That's why sometimes I don't work during the week. Because I work on Sundays. I don't care. All right, film at 11.